Good afternoon. My name is Daniel. I'm the supervisor here. Okay. I'm the one that called. These two gentlemen are filming, and we have no idea why. We have curtailed all transactions having to do with identity and credit cards because they may be stealing identities. We don't know. They have not introduced themselves. Have no idea who they are. Can you try talking to them at all? I asked them to step over to this Dutch store. They did not comply with that. All they said something about um, uh, poster says. number seven, which says they're allowed to film on government property, which I'm, I'm not taking them out, but we have to detail our transactions until they leave. Actually, you don't. So, I, I, if possible, I would like them. Uh oh, somebody's filming inside the post office. Oh my God! Call the police. There's somebody filming inside the post right, office. Right. Calm, but call this, and if you want to exercise right, I get that. But calm down. It's not entirely that's about saying like, oh my God, someone's filming inside the post office. No, somebody over there was filming. Okay, but it's. That's not antagonizing. If, if you're here, if you're here to exercise your right, then you can do that. That's what we're doing. You don't have, you don't, you don't have to be sarcastic. Not I think that's a sarcastic. Not sarcastic. Sir, it's a sarcastic thing to do. You're a grown man. Can you please act like one? So excuse you. Saying, What's your name and badge number? So saying, What's your name and badge number? So if, if you want to get involved, I'm going to ask you to identify yourself also. What's your name and badge number? Are you going to identify yourself? Nope. Do you want I to be involved? I have not done anything yeah, illegal. I need to know your name and badge number. Okay. Do they do any people say so? Uh, no, they were, no, they were pretty much standing and walking around right. a little bit, filming uh, people. They were not, I did not see them interacting with anybody, just going. So they're not antagonizing anyone, they're not talking to anyone? No. They're not engaging? No. Not that I've seen. No. All right, are you the only manager here? Yes. Daniel, Scott, Yes. Okay, all right, what's your exact title? I'm a supervisor. You're the supervisor? Yes. Okay. Do you guys have like a head? Is there someone? Oh, there is a postmaster, but she will be out for the next couple of days. Oh, okay. She's out on holidays or something like that? Okay. Have you tried calling them all? I have not. I came up here immediately and started telling customers to keep all identification hidden. Uh, 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 are you doing I don't need the terminals at all? Yes. Yes, but without filming, we don't want anybody to have their ID out. But they're not going near anyone or filming anyone's IP, correct? No. And they're not going near the terminals where you're no, there. But so they're just standing here in a lobby. They, they were standing, excuse me, they were standing in there. And when I moved up here, they came up here. But so they were actually filming transactions. So do you have a problem with them standing here though? Uh, I actually do. I We do not like to have transactions where people's identities are being because while they are performing their duties in public is both a right and a valuable practice. But for some strange reason, in the USA, cops take issue with it. Why do you think this is? Leave your comment below and let me know what you think. Maybe I will agree with you. Now allow me to teach you about our law here in America. There are numerous reasons why this right is legally protected and important. One, the First Amendment in the United States, for instance, guarantees freedom of speech and the press including the right to record public officials. Two, police officers operate in public spaces, which means their actions can be recorded by anyone present. Three, recording promo- Okay. All right. So someone else filming me in here It's okay if you were. Yeah, it's completely within the law. You're allowed to record in a public space. Yeah, no, I understand your point. Anyone bothered by their presence here? Well, yeah, why are they filming us? Yeah. Oh, Does anybody bother to listen to that? We well, do apologize for the delay. Uh, some people are filming, we don't know why. Uh, possibly identity theft, we don't know. Uh, they haven't said why they're here. And they evidently don't. We don't want you to expose any type of uh, personal information while they're filming. Ooh, I'm going to go record this. Close, to, close away from the I'm not touching it. I'm telling you the back. Don't touch me. I'm 
Some you have no right to touch me. Tell me to back up and stay away from my cruiser. That's well, what I'm what's doing. What's your name? You don't have the right what's to talk to him. I'm on the phone. I want some more. 650, no problem with that. Just get away from my cruiser. It's a dangerous job. How far do I have to if go? You're, if you're here to exercise your right, I can understand you need to that, get a and I can appreciate here that. Before you touch me, one more time. That. No, I'm and, allowed and to create no, distance. You need to go through the duck. Don't put that. a hand so, on me. Oh yeah, me putting my hand up to create distance. There's nothing no. wrong with that. It's not no. an assault. It's not no. an assault. You're fine. You're okay. An idiot. Now I'm an idiot. You're just being rude to me for no reason. I can be rude to you. I can call you any name I want. I know, but why do that? What kind of society? Why? Why am I an ass? You don't even know me. You don't even know me. I don't want to know you. That's fine. Then walk away and stay away from me. Stay away from my car and leave me alone. I'll go. It's my car, not yours. This is not your car. Oh, yes, it is. It's not your car. Did you pay for it? Listen, you need to relax. Do you have a loan on that? You need to relax, okay? And you need to leave us alone. If you don't want us here, then we don't need to be here, but then don't get involved and start walking up to my car. I don't know who you are what you're doing. I can walk up to my car. My car. Not your car. Ain't yours. You didn't pay for it. Hmm. They don't want you back in, okay? So right. it's trespassing if you go back in. You can't they, trespass me from they, a public space. They, they said they didn't want you trespassing. They cannot trespass me. Okay, I'm Get a supervisor here now. Get a supervisor here now. Because you cannot trespass me from a. Okay. I have not committed a crime inside a public space. I cannot be trespassed from a public space. Okay, so are you going to leave? Are you? They, they can't do that. Okay. Well, if I don't leave, are you going to arrest us? If I don't leave, are you going to arrest? I didn't me? say that. I said they want you. If Here we are. You didn't have to drop me off. But I wanted to. Marge, do you know how beautiful you look in the moonlight? Oh, Jacques, I'm a married woman. I know. I know. My mind says stop, but my heart and my hips cry proceed. I uh, leave. They don't want you to trust me. I can go in here. My supervisor's on his way out. You just asked for him if you would please stay outside. No. This is a public space. I didn't commit a crime. Wait. You know that, right? No crime they committed. You cannot be trespassed from a public space. Thank you. you want my supervisor? He's on his way. What's your name? You already have it from past practice, okay? Excuse me? You already have it from the past. What past? What's your name and badge number? Officer Fuller, 221. Thank you. Have a good day. You can have a good day. I'm asking to tell you to have a good day. Okay? No. Sir, do you have an identification, please? Okay. I don't have one. You don't have one? No. How about name and date of birth? Have a good day. Thank you. Have a good day. No crime has been committed. We don't have to yes, identify. Yes. I was called out. No crime has been. Who I'm out with. You're not going to get sure the name out of me. Any warrants, okay? No, I'm wrong. Do you have any of the date of birth? Um, I'd prefer not to give it. Do you have your social security number? Madam, just to let you know, we have two people in here filming. We don't, have we don't know why. No. Uh, so in the meantime, we so are detailing transactions to identify the yourself and they don't correct. steal your identity and credit card information. to identify yourself to the police so officer? Why does he need to identify himself? The they have I asked. Okay. You don't have a right to ask if we haven't committed a crime. We had a, we had a complaint out here. So uh, there is no crime. Well. Okay. There's so been no crime committed. No crime. Things are back to normal shortly. But in the meantime, we beg your forgiveness. You don't like me, do you? Did I you say said that? you met me before, right? I don't know, have I? You don't recall, so maybe I didn't. Oh, interesting. I don't know if I'm talking to you. Oh, why are you staying with us? Texted citizens here that are in the post Citizens are over there, you should probably stand between me and the citizens. Okay. Oh, okay. Holds transparency and accountability helping ensure that law enforcement practices are open to scrutiny. Four, it provides accurate documentation of events, which can be crucial in legal contexts. Five, citizens have the right to observe and record public activities, including interactions with law enforcement. Six, such recordings can offer protection for both the public and officers by capturing behavior that might be questioned later. 
tried to do film, but we are we can. Yeah. We can. So I talked to the prosecutor, I talked to the postmaster general. I mean, I know you guys are first amendment like auditors, you know, whatever you do with that. Um, but they don't want you in there in the area where they're doing transactions and they have a legal right to tell you that you can't be there. They so actually I just, don't. Well, I just talked to a prosecutor. And so if you guys go back in there and you start recording in there again, you're going to get arrested for trespassing. Exactly. That's from the prosecutor. That's what you're saying it's right from now? from the prosecutor. Name and yeah. number? Sergeant Hadaway, Hadaway Kent PD. So okay. That's from right. the prosecutor. At, uh, Federal lawsuit coming. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. You said it. If we go in I there, we're going to be arrested. If you go back into the I'm area I'm where they're you, transactions. you and you, the Kent Police Department and this post office. If you go back in the area where they're conducting transactions, the I can go there by law. By law, I can go there. Okay. If you by feel law. that way, then I you know can, I can. can try me. Right, in the, right inside there, I can show you where it says I can do it. Or okay. you can film. Yes. Yeah, we're not questioning filming here, sir. We're questioning being allowed on the premise, period, your person being here. They are reserving they the right. They don't want. They're they trespassing. They, they don't want people to sleep in the lobby. Am I homeless sleeping here? No, but it's I'm a safe conducting situation. a First Amendment protected activity. That's, I'm doing a story that's on this poor post office. What I'm telling you is, it's, it's no different than a homeless going to get person worse. sleeping in the office. This is in the office bullshit. Say I'm a reporter. It's just like if you went into Acme. me. No, this is not. This is not private property. I've told you. I've told you. Public property. You know it. You can make your own decision. I will. Eat a bag of dicks. Directed totally at you, buddy. Sergeant can even do. Information. Man. Shouldn't leave your cat up. It's non public information. You'll see me again. No. Sir, in the white hat, you need to stop. We have to ID you real quick because you were born for trespass. You have to know who we're speaking to, so you're required to ID. So I just need you to ID and we're out of here. Oh. He ID'd you, correct? What? My partner said he ID'd you, correct, sir? He said he knew who I was. He ID'd you, okay. We just, we don't we know who you are, so we need you to ID yourself, that's all. Okay. Uh, Do you have an ID on you? We haven't committed a crime. Oh, I mean, I'll... Being warned for trespass, sir, that is a crime. We can't say we warned um, some random guy we know. You're required to ID. I just need you to ID yourself, and then we get out of here. Failure to ID does result in an arrest. I would like for you to make this easy for the both of us so we can avoid all that. I just need you to ID yourself. You said you know who he is, right? All right. You have your ID uh, on yeah. you? In many countries, filming police officers... Seven, legal precedents support this practice as long as it is done respectfully and non-intrusively. Eight, it can act as a deterrent to misconduct ensuring that police actions remain accountable. Nine, it serves an educational purpose, helping the public understand their rights and police procedures. 10, video evidence can be crucial in investigations and legal cases. 11, it serves the public interest, particularly in high stakes situations involving civil rights. 12, journalists and media personnel are granted this right as part of their reporting duties. 13, Many jurisdictions have laws protecting the recording of public officials. 14. Police officers have no reasonable expectation of privacy while performing their duties in public. 15. Recording can be seen as an exercise of civil rights protections. 16. It helps prevent and address police abuse of power. 17. It ensures public accountability by keeping law enforcement actions under scrutiny. 18. Transparency through recording can improve relations between the community and law enforcement. 
19, it helps ensure compliance with regulations and policies. 20, legal safeguards in many regions protect the right to film police as long as it does not interfere with their duties.